prophecy. Bits and pieces falling off of me. But it isn't the toxicity. It's from neglect of injury. Suddenly, I'm not... My name is Helen Jean Conrad Davies. And um, I'm on the faculty at the University of Pennsylvania. Um, <clears throat> I came here from the University of Rochester. Uh, and I've been at the um, University of Pennsylvania ever since um, 1949. Mostly what I'm well known for is singing songs, singing about the things I do, including um, singing about the infectious diseases. I first started writing songs when I was in grade school, um, and that was a mighty long time ago, because I'm 93 now. I teach my song because if you remember something set to music, I find, for me, um, it's very easy to remember um, an enormous amount of information in song. And when I teach with song, students remember uh, what it is that I'm talking about and remember it for very long periods of time. A lifetime advocating for women and minority groups is just part of my life, oh. a most important part. I've been involved in um, programs for minorities, and um, and they are now on campus in much larger numbers. But at the time that I started working on this, they were definitely underrepresented women and minority groups. So it did make a difference to press hard for equal treatment. And at this point, there is a lot more equality, and um, women are involved in equality pressures, and, um, and we see them as vectors of change, people who have helped change the way things are done on campus. I am so happy that there is equality in admissions at Penn Medical School to men and women and minorities. We had a terrific situation in which one of my students, Stanley Prusner, got the Nobel Prize and it was very gratifying, um, and he gave me credit for helping him. I've taught over 10,000 people, students at Penn, and I've loved every minute of it. Leprosy. Bits and pieces falling off of me, but it isn't the toxicity, it's from neglect of injury. Suddenly, I'm not half the man I used to be, can't feel anything peripherally from swollen nerves. 
toxicity. Why don't lepre grow in vitro? We cannot say. In vivo they grow very slow. Once in twelve days. Hard to get. But the stigma hasn't faded yet. Don't keep an armadillo as a pet. Clefazamine and Dapsone, don't forget.